What is up guys and welcome back. So for today we have yet another Mortal Kombat 11 video and for today's video we have a new data mine that basically confirms the crypt expansion leak that's been going around for a while. But anyways before we get into any of that, like always be sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So with that being said let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so like I said, for today we have a new data mine in MK11 that shows a bunch of things in the crypt that we haven't gotten yet. In all, in all honesty, it shows a bunch of animations in the crypt that we have not gotten yet. Now if you don't know, there's been a crypt expansion leak that's been going around for months now that talks about a huge expansion to the crypt where new things are going to be added to the crypt. Some of the, some of the leaks even mentioned Smoke appearing in the crypt as a half human half cyborg version of himself. So I don't know how much of that will actually happen, but more than likely we will be getting a Crypt expansion. But anyways, enough talk, so go ahead and check that out. Now as you can see, this is a Reddit post that the data miner posted, and in it he said, Unused animations found on the MK11 Crypt files. And there's even a video on YouTube about it that he posted. And in it, he shows a bunch of animations that he found in the game files for the Crypt. And these animations, they're all, there's a whole, I didn't even see the whole video, there was too many. There's like them digging, them doing like different poses and things like that. And the one that I said that it showed an animation of someone digging is very important to know because supposedly in an old leak, they, they had mentioned that you could dig in the crypt expansion for treasure or something like that. And if that's true, then it looks like we may have just confirmed a crypt expansion leak. Which would be awesome guys, however I don't know if we're actually getting a leak or not. Some people are saying that these could just be files that were scrapped that they decided to just throw away. And I honestly don't see why they would do that. Like these could be scrapped animations or should I say scrapped files. But I don't see why there would be so many. So I honestly believe that we will be getting a crypt expansion in the near future. However, like I said earlier, I don't know if we are. That's just my best guess. But anyways, I want to take it to you guys now. So what do you think about this? Do you think we will be getting some type of crypt expansion? I think it makes perfect sense to get that. So hopefully we do. But anyways, like I said, what are your thoughts on this? Please let me know in the comment section down below. And for now, let's get to the comments of the day. So first up, we have... I love Tanya, but I'd rather have Lee Mei or Natara come back. Me personally, I would rather have Natara over those three. Or I mean, out of all those three. And the reason why is because Natara looks so damn cool. She's literally a vampire. She has wings, she has fangs. I would love to see her come back to MK11. And in all honesty, I never even got to play as her because I only started playing Mortal Kombat with MKX. Then I played a bit of MK9 and then I went to MK11. So I never really used her, you know? So I would love to get her back. Next up we have, you know when NRS releases the Ultimate Edition, that usually means there will be no more DLC characters. That's something that I have been saying for the longest time. I even made a video right after Combat Pack 2 called Mortal Kombat 11 is done, no more DLC is coming. But supposedly people are saying that they're supposed to be, they're supposed to be a complete edition of the game. I don't know how true that is. I think with Ultimate we're done. But there have been so many data mines and leaks coming out that say otherwise. So I don't know. And lastly we have, Warner Bros should just release Combat Pack 3 already. I actually don't agree with that because we literally got Combat Pack 2 last month. So if you're going to tell me that we're just taking a one month break from Combat Pack to Combat Pack, I would say that is too soon. But what we could do is maybe get a little tease. Or like they did that one time where they just showed the silhouettes of the next Combat Pack characters but they didn't show us who it was. Maybe some little tease like that, that would be really cool. But in terms of actually getting the full Combat Pack 3 release, I think that should wait maybe February, maybe March. I don't think we should get it now, that is way too soon. But anyway guys, that is it for today, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. Be sure to stay subscribed for more videos just like this one. Thank you for watching and peace.